Now let's see if the tie comes in case of unit penalties, uh, then how to break that tie. So whenever you look at the unit penalties, I told you that you have to select the maximum number of the unit penalty. But in case two numbers are having the same value, then which one to select? For that, you have to go inside that particular row oblique column. You have to add the transportation cost that was given you in the equation. Right? You have to go inside that particular row or particular column whose unit penalty was maximum and then you have to add the unit cost, transportation cost that was given to you in the equation. Then you will be selecting that particular UP whose total is minimum out of the two. The uh, tie row the, or column, you have to go inside the, that particular column or row add those components and just compare which one is having the minimum transportation cost select that to break the tie another type of problem comes when both the totals are same you have seen unit penalty of two particular rows or columns are same and then you went inside that particular row and column and you added the transportation cost which again comes out to be same then again it's a case of double tie how you will break that you will see the respective requirement or availability of that column, the particular column which is having maximum availability or requirement, you will select that unit penalty one. So there can be a case only when there is tie in the unit penalty that we will break by going inside that particular row or column, adding the components of transportation cost and then selecting that particular row or column which is having minimum total. If still the total comes out to be same, you will compare the uh, particular requirement and availability. The cell who is having the particular availability or requirement which is maximum, we will select that. So this is how you will break the tie in case any uh, tie comes in case of Vogel approximation method. It is going to lead you to a solution at a very early stage or you will lead, it will lead to a solution that is optimum one. So you can always follow these rules to break the tie. Now let us see one video which will just explain you how uh, the tie is broken if it comes in unit penalty or further in case of uh, going inside the unit penalties. Now in this practical question we will learn how to break the tie if it comes in case of unit penalties or in case of going inside the cells if there is a tie how to solve that. So now you can see with this question we will do with the help of VAM. First of all, you have to see whether the total of availability and requirement is coming out to be same or not. As you can see in the question, we have four destinations A, B, C, D and from the three sources S1, S2 and S3, we have to move further. Now let's just add from both the sides and just see whether the uh, requirements and availability are same or not. Now from this side, it is coming out to be 43. From here also, it is coming out to be 43. So it is a balanced problem. There is no issue at all. We can start allocating with the help of unit penalties. So first step, as we have seen in the previous video, we have to calculate unit penalties from both the sides, row and column. So let us first start from this side, UP1. We have to go inside the cell. There are three values. So least I can see is 17 and next least is 21. After that, it is 32. So we have to see least and next least, 17 and 21. So difference is of 4. So UP1 value is 4. Going inside this 16 and 18 are minimum. So it will be 2 here. 14 and 18 it will be 4. And in the last 13 and 23. So it will be 10. So we will do the same thing on this side unit penalty 1. So here minimum is 13 and next minimum is 16. So difference is 3 here. Minimum is 14 and next minimum is 17. Difference is 3 here. Minimum is 18 and next minimum is 27 and difference is 9. So now out of these unit penalties, we have to select the highest value. Of course, this 10 is the highest. So we have to move inside this. Now we will go inside this column. 3 cells. Minimum is 13. So here we are going to allot a rim. In front of this, availability is 11. While requirement is 15, so we can make available only 11 units. So it will be 0, it will be 4 now. Right? So as this becomes 0, we can delete this row. 
now this row does not exist for us as i have told earlier either you can prepare a new table now deleting this row with these two otherwise you can show just here only delete this row with the help of a pencil to show now again we have to start with the further unit penalties now u p2 now in this question we are left with these two rows this has been deleted so now 17 and 32 only two values are there so unit penalty 2 difference will be 15 next is 18 and 27 so difference of 18 and 27 is 9 14 and 18 difference will be 4 23 and 41 difference will be 80 same we have to do this side also unit penalty 2 this row has been deleted so no here our least is 14 and next least is 17 difference is of 3 here least is 18 and next is 27 so difference is of 9 so again you have to choose highest from these unit penalties i can see this 18 is the highest so i am again going in this column going inside i can see 41 23 minimum is 23 so here i have to make an allotment in front of this i can see here is 13 and here requirement is only of 4 so whatever is required i will supply that only so 4 has been allotted here with this it is becoming 0 and it is becoming 9 so because it has become 0 so i have to delete this column now now this column will not exist so further i will calculate the unit penalties up3 now going again in this column two values were there 32 and 17 difference will be of 15 18 and 27 difference will be of 9 14 and 18 difference will be of 4 this call unit penalty it will be a dash so coming on this side unit penalty 3 we have to calculate so here this was already deleted so dash here we are left with 17 18 14 three values are there minimum is 14 next minimum is 17 so here the difference comes out to be 3 here 18 and next is 27 difference is of 9 so now see here 3 9 15 9 4 so we have to choose uh, the maximum value i can see the maximum value here is 15 now we have to go inside this column two values were there 17 and 32 minimum is 17 looking here i have to put a rim so in front of this availability is 9 while requirement is only 6 so it means i can just fill the requirement of 6 this is going to be 0 and here it will be remaining a 3 so once it is has become 0 so this column again has been deleted so now this column is deleted we are left with two rows and two columns so again i will have to move further and calculate the unit penalty so let us just calculate unit penalty 4 here this column is deleted so nil here 18 and 27 difference will be of 9 14 and 18 difference will be of 4 this column has already been deleted coming to this side we will calculate unit penalty 4 now here this row was deleted so no here 18 and 14 difference will be of 4 here 18 and 27 difference will be of 9 now look here very carefully here we are having 4 and 9 on this side and even below we are having 9 and 4 so now we have to choose the maximum value i can see here one 9 exists and here one 9 exists so problem says like which one to choose whether i should choose this 9 or that 9 because i have to choose the maximum so for that what will i do is it is a very interesting case i will go inside this row first i am checking this whether i can go with this or not so i will go inside this row whatever is left 27 and 18 so you have to make a rough calculation of 27 plus 18 so what you have to do is go inside this row whatever values are remaining that have not been deleted just add them in your mind 27 and 18 comes out to be 45 so this is 45 okay now i will do the same with this 9 also i will go inside this 27 18 so i have to just do the same for this also so by chance in this question 18 plus 27 this is also coming out to be 45 
सो हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर्टी फाइव हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर्टी फाइव सो अगेन टाई इज कमिंग राइट सो हेयर सिंपली इफ टाई इज देयर वट यू हैव टू डू इज गो इन साइड दोज रोज और कॉलम्स और इट मे बी इन टू रोज गो इन साइड दोज रोज वेयर टाई एग्जिस्ट एट दोज वैल्यूज एंड जस्ट सी इफ इट इज फोर्टी फाइव दैट वुड हैव बीन थर्टी आई वुड हैव गॉन विथ थर्टी इट मीन्स मिनिमम विच वॉज मिनिमम you have to choose that unit penalty for further question right if in this question here would have been 45 and there would have total would have been 44 so i would have gone with this and i would have chosen that unit penalty and will go inside this and out of this minimum as i have done in the previous steps but here you can see a very interesting case here 45 is coming and here also 45 is coming so again the problem arises which one to choose now it means for breaking the tie we are moving with step 2 right so here i am going again inside this checking the availability here availability is 19 and i am going with this also checking the requirement it is 10 so here whichever is higher will be chosen if tie would have broken in the earlier step this totaling 27 into 18 27 into 18 then i would have gone with the minimum total i would have gone inside the minimum total column or row but here again tie was coming second tie so here what i have done is i have seen the availability of that particular cell that i was about to choose and the second again i have checked its requirement so 10 and 19 which one is higher this 19 so that is why i am choosing this 9 in some books it has been written that in this case you can choose arbitrarily but what i have found from many books that if you choose with this way you reach at the optimal stage very early and you can reach the optimality uh, solutions very quickly so i am going inside this so 18 and 27 which one is the least 18 so it in front of 18 12 and here 19 so i am giving it a rem of 12 this will become 0 and this will become 7 so once it becomes 0 this also has been deleted now you can see this column has been deleted this column has been deleted a column okay this row only two values are there so now we need not calculate unit penalties further directly we can assign them so out of 18 and 27 minimum is 18 in front of that 3 was left and here 10 is left so i will give it a 3 with the 3 it will become 0 and it will become 7 so here you will see here also 7 is there here also 7 is there i will allot a 7 with this it will become 0 so all the availabilities and requirements have become 0 so this is the optimal solution which i have reached with the help of wem method here we have just learned how to break the tie now finally you have to show the answer how you have shown in the previous cases also let us show the answer now so you can see in the first row no rim so here a rim has come so it means from source one destination is going to be d and the cost will be 13 into 11 rupees it comes out to be 134 rupees so in the second row second source destination is a and the cost is 17 into 6 this comes out to 102 then from source 2 itself to destination b 18 into 3 it comes out to be 54 here again source 2 destination d 23 into 4 it comes out to be 92 rupees in the third row from source 3 destination b 27 into 7 it comes out to be 189 rupees and from source 3 destination c 18 into 12 it comes out to be 216 rupees so now we will add this up to calculate the total transportation cost 787 rupees this is the initial feasible solution according to vogel approximation method so you can see if we have three destinations and there are three sources w x y so we have to find out the optimal 
cost which will be where the transportation cost is we are going to start this question with vam method only so to find out the vam first we will see whether the problem is a balanced problem so i have just added up this uh, availability it comes out to be 215 and on this side also it comes out to be 215 so it is a balanced problem we need not introduce any dummy row or column and we will start with vam so to calculate vam first of all we find out unit penalties so first up1 we will calculate for up1 we have to go inside this column minimum and next minimum 4 and 8 so difference is of 4 8 and 16 difference is of 8 8 and 16 difference is of 8 now we will calculate ups on this side also 4 and 8 4 16 and 16 0 8 and 16 8 Now we choose the maximum UP. So four zero eight four eight eight highest is the eight, but there is a tie. So we will go inside first this eight and add these values twenty four sixteen and eight. It comes out to be forty eight. So its total is forty eight. If I go inside this eight, same values twenty four sixteen eight forty eight. If I go between this sixteen twenty four eight forty eight, it means from all the sides total is coming out to be 48 only so it means again there is tie coming up so to break this tie i have discussed with you in the previous video what you have to do you have to check the availability and requirement its availability is 77 its requirement it was the requirement for this 8 requirement is 41 for this 8 requirement is 102 so we will see the highest value 77 41 108 of course this is the highest value so i am choosing this 8 as the up to be selected uh, that 48 totaling you have to do in the rough right so i have chosen this 8 going inside this column minimum is 8 out of these three so in front of this here is 56 and here is 102 so we will given allotment of 56 over here and 102 minus 56 it comes out to be 46 Forty six is remaining. So again, we have to calculate. So if we are, what we will do first is which has become uh, zero. That particular row we will delete because there is nothing available more now. Now again, we will calculate unit penalty two. Going inside this column, only two values are left. So eight, eight, sixteen, and twenty four. Eight. So same UP calculation will be here also. UP two. Dash. This row has been deleted, so minimum is sixteen minus sixteen, eight minus sixteen, eight. So now we can see zero eight 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 eight. So so many eight are there. Again, we have to break the tie. Going inside this sixteen twenty four and eight, its total comes out to be forty eight. Going inside this, its total comes out to be forty, and its total comes out to be forty sixteen and twenty four. so we know we have to choose the minimum so 48 40 40 again 40 40 there are two so what we will do we will check its requirements its requirement is 41 its requirement is 46 so i told you choose the maximum one this so i am choosing again this 8 to go inside this column so once you go inside this column two values are there 16 is the minimum availability 71 requirement 46 so 46 and this is going to be 0 so here 77 minus 46 it will be 31 so now this column has become 0 so i am deleting this column now right now again we will start with the unit penalty 3 to calculate unit penalty 3 here 8 and 16 8 this has been deleted 8 and 16 8 over here here we will calculate unit penalty 3 the first row is deleted so this 16 minus 16 0 8 minus 24 is 16 so 0 16 8 8 of course highest is this 16 so we will choose this go inside this column minimum is 8 here 31 here 72 so 31 will be allotted over here 72 minus 31 is 41 so here 41 is left and now this will be deleted so now we are left with only one row so there is no need to calculate further ups 16 16 so allotment of 41 here is 82 it will be 0 41 will be left 
again 41 is required here so 0 0 so we can see all the availabilities and requirements are met now uh, the first part of the question is complete applying VAM method we have got a solution so now you will simply show the solution as you have done in the previous videos total transportation cost transportation cost will be for the first cell 8 into 56 for WB WB 8 into 56 which comes out to be 488 rupees for XA 16 into 41 for XC again 16 into 41 for YA 8 into 31 for YB 16 into 46 so we have multiplied all the transportation costs 16 into 41 656 16 into 41 656 8 into 31 248 and 16 into 46 is 736 so by adding this we will get the total transportation cost which is 2784 so this is the transportation cost that we got from the initial feasible solution.